Hello everybody, I'm Zia System 3. As you can see, I am outside. I'm pulling a wooden wagon. And in today's episode of Thrift Store Stuff, we're not getting something from a thrift store, but I did find a CRT, and I'm gonna see if it works, because I like saving them. Who knows, someone might want it. And for the future, these things are getting harder and harder to get, so. I'm gonna go get it and plug it in outside my house and uh, see if it still works. So, um, yeah. There's people around me. You know, you know me, everybody. Just picking up CRTs in front of people's houses. 12 year old picking up TVs that only have composite and RF and are 13 inches big and are really heavy. Okay, here's the wagon. I'm gonna try putting it in. So, um, here it is. I shouldn't have brought the bucket. It, um, yeah. Oh gosh, it's dead. <laughs> like on it. That scared me. But, um, yeah, I shouldn't have brought the bucket that's inside of it. I could, it would have worked a lot better as a flatbed. We'll scare off this day long leg, kick it off, whatever. We're gonna bring it back now. Gosh, my back is killing me. Ah, you can do it back. And, Oh gosh, oh gosh, look at this. The tire here is ready to break, and this piece of wood here is ready to break. So yeah, it's only a matter of time before this thing dies. Also, there's another daddy long leg on there. Get off, get off. Yeah, you better leave. You know me, Zia System 3, saving one set at a time. Tubes, one set at a time. Uh, this one, I think I saw actually another time. It was, uh, I think it was actually rained on, but I think the heat got it out. But anyway, it works. Um, yeah, you can see I have a few of these by now. My dad has one. I have this one, this one, this one, and one upstairs. So that makes five total. But, you know, saving these things in the future, it'll be good to resell, especially for museums, you, you know, um, People wanting to play retro games. These things are only going to get harder to find. So I'm going to buy them and get them until uh, I can't pick them anymore. Or I find something that's cool and maybe sell these. Because I know one friend who would want this one. One friend who would want the old one I was used to have uh, here. Then I moved the PZM here. And then my Zenith here. This is the biggest CRT I have. The Zenith. Um, yeah, but yeah, so it works. And uh, But now time to clean it. Now let's see if it works. Let's plug the yellow, blue into the video, uh, green into left audio, and red into right audio because, you know, they're both right. Because uh, it's actually a component cable just for the video. Uh, yeah, let's plug it into my NES and see if it the connectors work. Keep in mind, oh dear, glare. Oh, whatever. There are two inputs, so if one doesn't work, the other might. Come on. Yes. As you can see, it does work. I'm actually kind of impressed. I was ready to throw it back out because I think I remember thinking about it the day before. I can't be sure. I see a lot of CRTs and some of them are just too big. Um, I remember seeing it on the side of the street or maybe it was this one. I don't know. I was thinking about it because it kind of looked big. Now I'm looking at it and it's slightly bigger than my PVM. I think it's maybe 14 inches. Uh, I would look at the play on the back, but hey, um, I don't feel like doing that right now. I just ran a bunch of stuff and like I was going to check out a place I'm th we're gonna I'm, me and my family are going to stay for vacation and I did all this stuff and it's boiling hot and I went there walked to it so it was nice um brought a wagon there and then oh it was it was pretty crazy but hey we got it it's plugged into my main setup here and um yeah looks pretty nice I think I actually might use this for an old computer of some sort um use the other one for maybe another old computer who knows I'm just gonna probably use that one as a backup but yeah Two pieces of I mean, there's this one, Zenith, 
um, you know, my PVM, then there's, like, my dad's one, and then the one in my room, so that's five total, but hey, it works, uh, let's turn up the volume, volume button works, and everything, nice DUI, I mean, not very nice, but standard, I always use my NES Advantage here, and my NES, and, and Bad Dudes, more recently, to test, um, uh, TVs, and see how well they work, this one I can see has a bit of flicker, but we will see. First, we must plug it into our console. And. <sighs> Play. Okay. Oh, I need to switch it. Yep. Well, that sounds, I mean, kind of tinny, but way better than my PVM. But it wasn't really meant for that. Now I don't feel like pushing this up to record because I'm showing the TV itself. So it won't really make a difference. Uh-huh. Yeah, every time you restart you have to look through this. And I don't know why it's so iconic. This game is like the, the most like um, plain, obvious game ever. It's called Bad Dudes. You're rescuing the present from ninjas. Like, come on. And yes, I am using turbo on my handiest advantage, okay? Fine, I'll turn it off. Yeah. And yeah, you know, this was originally an arcade game. So, you know, the matches to play it with a bad arcade stick. Wait. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think they had the chips to make it so that after like three or more things on the screen at once, it flickers. And it's also kind of choppy in a way. Yeah, dang it. Yeah, die. Die. Nope. Oh. Die. Dang it. I have to admit this one doesn't look the best even for composite and I am using high quality composite cables but you know what you want to do it's still way better than a um, you know a modern day one except you can't really see the scan lines in this one but you know it is a true CRT so whatever I can't complain too much and yes I do know this one special move oh come on what? There we go. Well, whatever. You might press the two at the same time. Okay, well, you know, I failed. I'm gonna start from the beginning. But yeah, that is the CRT I just got. It's a RCA. Actually, let me look at the back of it real quick. Okay, well, the back is all scratched up. But hey, there you go. There's the RCA. Uh, actually, I can measure it because I have the tape measure. Ooh, look at that. Look at that branding right there. Tape measure brand. Anyway. Let's, uh, yeah, see how big it is. So, from the um, bottom corner to the top corner, it's about, oh gosh, this curves, so it makes it a bit harder. Uh, it's about a 20 inch one, actually. So, yeah, considerably bigger than my PVM, as you can see right there. Yeah, but, you know, I mean, from the bottom to the top, it's uh, 11 inches, and from side to side, it's 17. And the video would have ended there, but you'll never guess what happened. So my mom was, um, she wanted to go to this uh, store that, you know, had a bunch of sales. You know, pretty average mom stuff. You know, you see sales, you want to go get it. You know, and then since we were close to Vortex Video Games, we went there. And uh, there was this um, computer um, at Vortex Video Games. This is the, that's a business card. Um, there were a few sales there. And uh, one thing was, I asked about this Tandy Color Computer too that they were going to fix. Or, I don't know if they were going to fix. I'd been there for, like, a month and nobody had done anything. But, uh, last time I asked, it was $10. My dad said, think about it. When I came back, I found some 
other stuff. I'll talk about that in a bit. And I'm pretty sure I got a good deal. Um, but I asked how much it was. And after, at the end, when I was doing the checkout for the other things I got, he said, you know what, kid? We're probably not going to fix it anytime soon. Have it for free. And, uh, oh boy, I was so excited. Now I got to show you this. Yeah. So, um, this tiny color computer, you may be wondering what's wrong with it. And we're going to get to that stuff late in a bit. But you may be wondering what's wrong with it, except for the fact it's immensely dirty. You can't see it on camera, but there's hair in between uh, the keys and everything. And it's extremely dirty. Like, you can see some splotches there. And, like, in the game port. Yeah, you can see it's pretty dirty. But you can see the previous owner, who for some reason turned it into uh, the game store, for some reason cut the power cord. But that's not too bad. Uh, let me focus on that. Come on. Whatever. Uh, yeah, you can see the power cord um, has been sliced, but that's okay. I can just take it apart, and um, really the only thing I'll have to do is, uh, uh, you know, get go to the hardware store, get like a one of those standard uh, three-prong connectors with a ground and whatever, and then just, you know, bundle the wires onto the right prongs. But we'll forget about that for now. I mean, yeah, for now. And... Look what I got. So, they were having a sale. Everything was half off. So, I took that to my advantage and found, got all the cheapest Nintendo Power magazines that I was still kind of interested in from the store. So, we got here, uh, uh, Ready to Wario, I guess, but it says just war because this, uh, place where it is originally from. It was originally for Travis Edwards, uh, it does say exactly where he lives, so I'm not going to have that in the resolution you can read. Um, this, and this is also a Wii one. Oh, look, a, f a new, a look at the new Super Smash Bros. that's coming out for the Wii. Wow, I can't wait. So, yeah, it's about, um, the new Zelda game for the, um, DS. Actually, they are showing, us uh, new Super Mario Bros. in early stage. Why isn't my camera focusing? There we go. Yeah, a lighter, brighter DS. It's talking about the DSi, I guess. And, uh, you know? Um, very awesome there. But then, these Nintendo Powers that come with little sleeves. Now, I already have a Nintendo Power. Oh my gosh. Focus. I already have a Nintendo Power, but it's a Virtual Boy one. Now, I already, now I got a bunch more. For $5 half off, I got Kirby's Dreamland 2 Wild Wild Worlds. Uh, with a little fluffy hamster trapped with Kirby sucking in the air or puffing out stars. And, oh, look at that. It's the new... Wait, that's not a Game Boy. Just different looking Game Boys. Sorry about that. Uh, my camera got interrupted from an alarm. But, uh, yeah. Which one of your favorite... Which, which original Game Boy is your favorite? And it's all these radical dudes and these... Awesome hats, probably so they don't get made fun of for not having a mullet. Anyway, we got Super Metroid, new Super Game Boy, uh, whatever action. I really gotta get a Super Game Boy, even if it wouldn't fit where my Super Nintendo is right now. It'd be fun to use. The source of news and strategies from the pros. And, uh, you know, we got some sports things on the back talking about super nintendo stuff very awesome super metroid really awesome game i don't have it but i've played it on the super nintendo classic edition we got mario paint because mario paint's awesome and yeah five dollars half off uh if you're wondering the super metroid one was three dollars half off uh 150 you know pretty easy um, i just don't feel like doing the math look at mario he looks like he's drawn something evil and dirty behind his back but you can see he drew a yoshi and whatever I'm just showing that you probably won't be the best, but whatever. Oh, and look at this. Street Fighter 2 cheat secret code. Yeah. And I'm going to stop doing that voice. It's kind of hurting my throat. Oh, yeah, you should probably call that number. That'll definitely not be some scam company nowadays. <laughs> yeah, it's Nintendo Repair Van, because Nintendo people definitely came to your house in a van that looked like that just to repair your <laughs> Oh, my gosh. Um, if you're wondering why I'm putting these in a separate pile, this, I don't think this is, oh, it is Nintendo Power, but it's like a newer version, different type of paper, and it's all for the Wii, you know. Uh, 
So yeah, this actually the dates on these are 2006 uh, and 2007. I was born in 2007. If you want, if, if you're uh, one curious, this is 007 Agent Under Fire. Um, two dollars. I thought it was uh, 007 for the um, uh, 64, but whatever. I'm pretty sure this is for the Game Boy Advance or GameCube. Uh, I know they were very interlaced. And look at this radical pizza guzzling skateboard guy. E. Sawyer feet can hit the street. Oh, eat so your feet can hit the street. Oh, it's an ad. Of course it is. And then we got, you can tell these last few are very important because they don't have anything on it. Hey gamer, this is your last issue. See ad inside for a cover for a special. I don't think this was the last issue. But hey, classified GoldenEye codes for GoldenEye 007, I assume. And it is for the N64. And you know it isn't the last issue because it's for the N64. But yeah, it, this is volume 133. Uh, the earlier ones are obviously more expensive. It has stuff in it. I'm pretty sure it has a poster. Let me just uh, find it. Oh, look at this. Look at this new color. Cool from Fun N64. Oh, and fun stuff to sign up for. Very uh, up to date. Got some very fun comics and news stuff. Oh, we got a kind of poster here. I actually don't know if this one has it. Um, I don't know. But it does show Pokemon Stadium for the N64. I'm pretty sure it's for the N64. Oh, look at all this merch that probably costs a thousand dollars nowadays each. I would love to get my hands on some of that stuff, especially that shirt. But it would look new, probably, because people probably still make stuff like that and whatever. So, yeah. And you want to win a car because of a whatever game? Yeah, I don't know why I'm showing so much of this specific one, but you can see all these Nintendo Power magazines I got. I don't know how much, maybe like $20 worth of magazines. Or what I, uh split so yeah got how many did i get one two three four five six seven seven magazines i'm definitely gonna read through these very cheap prices very awesome now the tandy color computer i was gonna say something more about and i will show you what i mean oh yeah hand oh glare and i i'm sorry that i didn't show me getting them uh they don't gosh they don't allow cameras they're what the heck? Okay, they don't allow cameras there, even though I saw a YouTuber in that same exact store. Whatever. So, this TV I got earlier in the episode, um, as nice as it is, is actually pretty perfect for pairing up with this Tandy Color computer. I mean, it's not perfect, obviously. You're not going to be able to put it on this very thin. You probably have to get some sort of monitor and then a bunch of adapters and whatever. But since I got this thing and this other CRT is just for mer emergencies, if mine ever dies or, you know, whatever. I don't know. I I'll find a use for it sometime. But um, this colored computer will be very nice to fit with this, considering it's a about the same size and it has an RF on, like, the other one, big part. Um, and, yeah. And since the only thing wrong with this is the power cord, and all you gotta do is just re-put it on, get the video cable. I don't need any controllers, although I will get some cartridges and a joystick maybe in the future. I might just use this to, to do um, Tandy's version of BASIC. Who knows? I don't really care about these games, to be honest, but if I ever find a good deal, yeah. But yeah. So, today's episode of Thrift Store Stuff was extremely successful. I got a free Tiddy Color Computer 2, even if it's broken. Uh, obviously, free uh, TV at the end of the street, which I'm probably going to use. Um, I'm definitely going to use for this computer. And some Nintendo Power magazines. So, with that, I will see you guys in a bit. And I've been Zane System 3, and goodbye. <laughs>